Hello, peeps. peeps -aronis. That wasn't funny. Anyway, um, in this video, I'm going to be drawing my cat along with telling you guys a story of how um, my family got our cat. Um, yeah, you got my, you guys might have noticed that it's just dark outside. I apologize, but this was the only time that I could take the video because um, I'm leaving um, this week and I have to finish the video before I leave. So yeah, I apologize that it's dark outside. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so how, well, let's see, where did it begin? So we have a neighbor and for her privacy, I'm just going to call her Martha. Um, and she was basically taking care of this one, um, cat called Little Dancer. Um, and she figured out that Little Dancer was pregnant and that she was going to have kittens so she was like trying to figure out where little dancer was gonna have her kittens because um she wanted to take care of them and give them away so they wouldn't be stray cats because um, little dancer was a stray cat um and so a little while later little dancer had her little baby kittens and they had it in our other neighbor's yard so if you can imagine this is our house this is Martha's house, and then the little dancer had her babies in this house, the house like right next to ours. So we would like look over the fence, and she had her babies like in this little tiny like spot um, over the fence because um, our neighbors had a dog that um, did not like cats, so he would like bark at them. So they had to like hide in this little corner of the yard where the dog couldn't get at them because there's a little fence. Um, and then, um, I think because she was scared of the dog, Little Dancer got her kittens and moved them over the fence and under this deck we have in our yard. Um, and basically lived there for a while. Um, and then Martha went over to us and she was like, hey, the kittens are under your deck. Um, can you guys capture them and give them to me so that I can take care of them and give them away to loving families? Um, so we were like, sure. So we waited um, to figure out a way how we would catch these kittens because they were very scared of humans because they're stray um, and we couldn't figure out a way to um, trap them. But then um, they got a little bit more playful and they would like play on the, around our pool. And then we have this like little pool shed. We have the shed that was right next to the deck. So they would like walk around the shed and so we put some food in the shed as bait. Um, and then we waited on a, on a chair, like a little place away from where the cats lived and under a deck. We were like right next to the deck, but like in a different spot than where they lived. So we waited there and we traded shifts all day long. And then finally, all of the kittens were in the shed at the same time because they kept on like one would go in and another would come out and then two would go in and then one would go out another one would go in and so they were all none of them were all in the shed at the same time so we counted the kittens and all of them were in the shed so we got a dad and he got this little like that's this one this little cage and he ran bring a flashlight he went into the shed closed the door and then turned on the flashlight and he just collected the kittens because it's like this tiny shed so it's super easy to find them because there's not very many hiding places and he just picked them up stuck them in there and then bring them inside and then we since they were like really tiny, they were like this tiny, we kept them in this like cardboard box and we had a little makeshift litter basket for them. Um, and it was funny because one of the cats actually just started sleeping in the litter box. It was pretty funny. Um, but then we realized that they were getting bigger and that was not a big enough space because they looked absolutely miserable um, in that little box. So we got these like, we have these outdoor like segmented furniture. And so we got it, put it in the corner um, in the corner of our house, so like made this little square um, enclosing enclosure where one corner was the wall and one corner was the benches or the the seats. Um, so we just would climb over the seats and just hang out with the kittens basically all day because um, they were super duper cute. Um, and basically, they lived there for like a month, I think, and then we started looking for homes because 
Martha had not told us. We hadn't heard from her. We were like, hey, we got the kittens. She hadn't responded. We were like, do we give them to you? What do we do? Um, and she said, just keep them. And we were like, okay. Um, we don't want to have five kittens because my mom does not like animals. She hates animals. Um, so we started looking for families to adopt the baby kittens. And we found some. One of them was actually our neighbor where Little Dancer used to, their yard was where Little Dancer used to have her kittens. That neighbor took one of the kittens, um, which was actually the one that I wanted. Um, but they took him, and then we ended up giving away all of them, and my mom was like, okay, I'll let you guys keep one of the cat cats, one of the kittens, because it was during COVID, so like we were really bored, and she was like, okay, you guys can keep one of the kittens. It'll be our COVID cat. Um, so although I didn't agree, my siblings poked it, picked this one they called like cutie puff because it was like really fluffy and really cute um and so we kept it and then gave away all the other kittens and then we decided that cutie puff was not a suitable fitting name um because it was not an actual name so then we tried to think of different names for it um we decided to call it colombo because there's this one show that our family um, was into at the time watching. Um, it's called Columbo, where the the main protagonist is this detective named Columbo. So we decided either he was going to name Watson or Columbo, both detectives. Um, and we decided to name him Columbo um, because it's just a great name, you know. Um, and now, okay, actually, so then we gave away all the kittens, named him Columbo, and kept him. And then we had a little his little litter box. We no longer kept him in the enclosure. Um, he basically just went around the house. Um, it was funny. Me and my siblings would fight over who got to sleep with Columbo. Um, it was funny. But then he started, like, peeing everywhere. Um, even though he had a litter box, he would start, like, peeing all over the, you know, like, boxes we had around the house because he just likes peeing in boxes, I guess. And my mom was like, um, this is not okay. Like, I did not think the cat was going to pee everywhere. And like I said, she does not like animals. So she was, she banished him outside. So now he lives outside, um, in the courtyard, which is actually right there. We have this little, like, um, carpeted area. You can't see it now because it's dark, but we have this little carpeted area, um, because our house is in a big U. So we think of it as, like, Pretend this is the U. Okay, pretend this is the U, right? And then on the inside arch of the U, like in here, there is uh, like a roof over it, but it's like open to the air since it's like this is the U. So it's, it's closed on all these sides. But then on this side, it's open to the air and there's a little like roof over it and it's this little courtyard where we have um, a carpet and stuff, and he basically just lives there. He has, like, a cat tree, and we put his food there. Um, and he lives there, like, usually during the mornings and, like, at night. Um, but when he's not there, he's, well, most of the time he's not there. Um, he just explores the neighborhood, I guess. I don't really know where he goes, but kind of just travels far and wide. Um, a funny story about Columbo. Um, one time... When he was still a kitten, because now he's not a kitten anymore, but when he was still a kitten, um, he was on my brother's bed. My brother did not like him on his bed because he slept, Columbo slept with my brother once, but then he like scratched the sheets and like made holes in them. So then my brother was like, I don't want this cat on the bed if it's going to scrape my sheets. So then he um, didn't want him on his bed. So, and then my oldest sister, who like probably loved Columbo the most, um, was in there and she's like, oh, then I'll sleep with him. Like, I want to sleep with Columbo. So what hap ended up happening was Columbo was on the bunk bed. It's a bunk bed. Um, so if you can imagine, we have like this bedroom. There's the bunk bed in this corner and there's a fan in the middle of the room. Now, the bunk bed is like this and the fan is basically like right here. So it's spinning like right here, but it doesn't go over like the edge of the bunk bed. It's just spinning right here. So my sister grabbed Columbo and lifted him up 
to take him off the bed, but she lifted him straight into the fan, and he did not like that at all. Let me just tell you, he was very angry. Um, so she lifted him right into the fan, and he like freaked out. The hand, fan hit him, and he like she mauled my sister's arms. So there were like scratches all down her arms, um, and in her hands. And I was like, ooh. Because our cat, he's very cute, but he is very dangerous. Let's just say that. Um, that was when his, we filed his nails. Or no, that was when he was a kitten. So his nails were, were like literally so tiny. They were like little tiny nails. And they still like scratched him. Scratch, scratched my sister. So now he has bigger claws um, and bigger teeth because he's older. And he lives outside, so we don't file his nails. Um, but let's just say you don't want to upset him. Because I've done that in the past and walked away with, with scratches um, on my hands. One time, um, I was lifting him up because I like to hold him. He does not like being held, though. So I was like, okay, he's like, he's like relatively like peaceable. Um, he seems like relatively relaxed right now. So I like was like petting him and like petting him where he likes. He liked to get like scratched behind his chin. So I was like scratching him and like talking to him and like petting him and he was purring. And I was like, okay, okay, he's like he probably won't scratch me. Like he's he's pretty relaxed right now. You no, know, he's pretty safe. So I was like, okay. So then I picked him up, and he did this thing where I don't know if it's just him or if it's all cats, but he like looked at me like that, and I was like, oh no. So I just like held him and I was like trying to get my hand up to like his chin to scratch it because like if you scratch him on the chin while he's like um then he'll kind of be like and like it'll kind of like distracts him or like subdues him so he won't attack you um but as I was moving my hand up he was like and just like lashed out and he basically like scratched a small scratch like under my eye and all over my hands and he like attacked me and he was like and I, like, I, of course, I, like, grabbed him and I just chucked him to the ground. Well, I didn't chuck him, but I, like, shoved him away from me. I was like, get away, bro. He was like, it was not pleasant. Um, but, yeah, um, that is the end of the video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking the video um, and even subscribing to my channel. That would be huge. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. And peace out.